What up, 100 Years of Wealth family? Hope all is well. You know, I'm driving home, just left the office, downtown LA is in my background, and I'm um, headed to South LA to my homestead, go have some dinner with the wifey. Just thinking about something. As I've gotten older, rap music, which I love, appreciate, understand, etc. sometimes the lyrics just sound different. They just hit different, right? So when you hear like, you know, rap artists still kind of in that gully, grimy mode of like, um, do whatever to get the money type thing, right? Trust me, I understand that like music is like a, it's a expression of art. It's a lot of times it's an expression of like where that person was at a moment in time. So this isn't to get on some political, what rappers should say or not. Um, I still fuck with all the grimy shit, gangster shit. And I know it has its place and in different people's life, they might be going through that currently and really relate to it. Me, I'm older, a little bit more mature, you know, weighing out risk versus reward, shit like that. So some of that shit just doesn't sound the same, you know? I'm in the real estate and mortgage industry. So when I think of like, you know, youngsters like having music influence them to do whatever to get the bag and to, you know, go hard for the money. I even heard a rapper talking about niggas moving fentanyl. You know what I mean? Like, I know he's just on that drug talk shit, one of my favorite artists right now, but I was just thinking about that concept, like doing whatever to get the bag. And the reality of it is, is that in this world, I think no matter what, you gotta, you gotta have some morals, you know? The clearer, you ha the, the better you have the ability to think all the way th through and not only be specifically thinking about survival and money, then the more likely you're gonna be able to apply morals to whatever your decisions are. And one of the rules for my business was always, I'm not gonna engage in any business that doesn't equally help out the person on the other end. Um, so, you know, with that being said, just gotta really think about it, youngsters out there, you know, when you're plotting on your hustle, weigh the shit out. There's other ways to get bread. There's other ways to come up. There's other ways to put time, effort, and energy in that will reap pretty quick results. You know, you can either go and try to flip a key, you know what I mean? Or try to rob a D-boy or fucking stick somebody up or break into a crib, or you can start your own clothing brand. Or you could try to manage young artists coming out of your, your area. Um, or you could get into real estate and um, real estate sales. Or you can just sell hand-to-hand -hand, like fucking water bottles. You know what I mean? There's a lot of ways that you could create income for yourself um, that don't have a, a high startup cost. That might just be, a, you know, a couple bucks and a hustle. You know, I worked at Taco Bell as a youngster and that shit was fun. Um, you know what I mean? Like... So my point is, is just like, you know, we gotta, we gotta step away from the mentality of like, do whatever to get bread. Because a lot of times those high reward, quote unquote, high reward avenues to getting money that have a super high risk. And unless you're just kind of okay with, you know, like jail time and murder being part of your, uh, your job risk, then fucking veer away from that shit. You know what I mean? Like, and you know with the internet nowadays more people have access to more information so this is never to down talk anyone that has selected a certain route or is currently in a certain route getting money or trying to figure out a way because that's what they knew or that's what they were directed towards or that's what they saw around them no way at all i'm never gonna like shit on that because i understand people people come across different information at different points in their life um so at whatever point you come across this video, I'm just here to say you got other options. You know what I mean? Like um, even, you know, in some situations it's hard to get like certain licenses, real estate, loans, whatever, because maybe you have something on the past in your record. I know I had some shit in the past that held me back from certain things, so I get it. Um, you gotta figure out your way and your, your way around it, you know, cause no money, no money is good enough to be risking your life. Um, you know what I mean? Like no money is good enough to be uh, risking time in jail. It's just not worth it. Um, you know, you'd rather fucking go and work at Taco Bell to, to make the make ends meet before you start really taking big risks just to fucking come up. You know, because a lot of times these dudes be talking about coming up on ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars. That sounds like a lot when you don't have no money. 
But once you're making real money, you'll realize that that shit ain't nothing but a few months worth of basic expenses. You know what I mean? Like maybe more if your expenses are really low, maybe less if your expenses are really high. So, and a lot of those things are short term. They're one time gains. You got to go out again and, and commit the same risk, you know, whether it's flipping weight, whether it's fucking whatever avenue in the streets that you're trying to get that bread, you know? Um, so this is to all walks of life. Pe you know, this is not me talking to any specific community. This is me talking to people. I know people fucking white, black, Asian, Latino, fucking whatever culture you could think of that have been on some shit trying to get bread and they're willing to do some shit, willing to figure it out, you know, scam some shit. You know what I mean? Like there's a lot of different avenues. So my point is before you do that shit, before you put yourself, your family, you know, at risk, um, your life, your fucking freedom, all that shit, figure out some other hustles where, you know, you could put in some effort and energy with no risk of being arrested, no risk of someone trying to rob you or fucking, you know, you having to try to do something physical to someone else. And it's just a different thing that you got to figure out, you know, just like when like, I think people think that those hustles come easier, you got to figure that shit out too. And the only difference is you got a big ass risk along with it. Now, these other hustles, real estate, um, different types of sales position and all types of different industries and avenues, um, those those things might be a hustle that you got to figure out. It might be a grind. It might be a headache, but you're not risking going to jail. You're not risking fucking uh, getting shot. And you don't got to do harm to somebody else to come up. So I say consider those things. You'll, you'll probably realize that those things are actually easier for you to uh, get into the information's out there dig a little um and go after it you know fucking put your put your grips into that shit figure out where the where the money is that you want get the required degrees get the required education the required certifications required licenses even in the tech industry you know i know people that have gotten great high paying tech jobs without even going to uh to like college for it they were they did boot camps online they, they did boot boot camps google offers some different boot camps that can get you into like um entry level um tech jobs and uh and even further beyond that once you start adding different certificates so it's not even a you know those aren't even sales positions but there's ways through your own effort and hustle to get um to get into them and put yourself in a position to make really good money so you know Really analyze what risk you're taking before you take it. See if it's worth it. See if there's another alternative for you prior to doing that. Um, and, you know, I think that you'll find more success, uh, less stress, less risk. You know, risk, the risk you want to take, you want to risk a little bit of money on advertisement for your little business or some shit. You know what I mean? Like, that's the type of risk you want to take. You want to risk spending the time effort and energy online trying to learn something um you know what i mean like that's the risk where it's like, okay let me just try this shit let me see what happens and then you know like take some calculated risk some risk so like, okay i'm gonna put this time effort and energy i do know that this industry's cracking i should be able to you know this should work out for me as well type thing you know so think about the the things that you're doing out there there's a lot of ways to make really great money that can really support your lifestyle sorry about the bumpy video for a second i'm driving on crenshaw right now and they're doing a lot of work but i hope that added some value for you guys man um my main thing is like as i've grown as an entrepreneur um from just like hustling to like having a successful business um i'm like i'm no rocket science there's a lot of times where i'm not working at the highest level that i can and i'm still finding success so i think it's really about being consistent having a certain direction and i always want to share that information so that youngsters out there or anyone can grab and say okay fuck it let me let me push forward in a certain direction and um, make things happen so once again like subscribe i hope you gained some knowledge from this video hope it wasn't too shaky for you 100 years of wealth to you and yours peace